Hello, hello, Aries, and welcome to your monthly reading for February. Let us get started without any further ado. So I am doing a new spread for the first time ever um, on my show, and <clears throat> it's going to be a quick 10-card spread. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I'm just... I'm excited. I'm doing this for the first time for you guys, Aries. So let's see what happens. Okay, so let's look at your theme. Your present energy. Future energy. Mm -hmm. What you need to know. Your hopes and fears your environment. Outcome is right here. Unexpected. How others are viewing you and the past, of course. Okay, so let's see what's going on. I'm gonna adjust the camera. Let's see. Some of them did already come out. Face up. Okay. Ooh, Aries. Okay, so Aries. Looking interesting. Got a lot of reverse cards here, Aries. Okay. So let me tell you what's going on really quickly. Your overall theme for this month, I think, is the page, well, here, it's the page of cups upside down, and to me, that's telling me, like, I feel like a lot of you may be having a hard time expressing yourselves, and you may be even afraid to, like, get into a new relationship with someone, afraid of love, afraid of communicating your feelings. I see you, Aries, really like maybe hiding your feelings, running away, ignoring it. Uh, the Page of Cups is someone that's like ready to begin a new romance, a very romantic, affectionate person, I guess. I just feel like, Aries, you are not in that state of mind. Something's going on. Um, in the past, we have the Four of Pentacles, so it looks like you were holding on, or actually had, well, some of you were maybe holding on, and have just recently let go of something, or you were just, you had let go of something, and, um, perhaps it came back to you, and, um, you didn't want it anymore, like you were really over it, it was done for good, you realized how over it was. I think this is for like love for many of you, for some of you, if this is work or career related, um, that could be a job, work situation that you held on to, that you clung on to, and you may be leaving it behind now and moving forward, okay? Um, presently, right now, you have the Two of Pentacles, upside down so it feels like for some of you you're just indecisive you're unsure where to go from here there's not really a sense of stability when it comes to the monetary gains right now for some of you you're in the middle of a decision like at a crossroads here I just don't see any like stability in your cards this month though um, no, no offense, Aries, but it just looks like you're not in the mood for love or even for celebration in some of these, um, cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, your future here, your future is seeing, <clears throat> you've got the three of cups upside down and three of cups upside down is like a complete opposite of celebration. I mean, this is somebody that's in mourning or just someone that's in isolation, that's depressed, somebody that is, or this could be, um, 
This could also be representative of a love triangle. Um, some of you may have left that behind. Some of you could have been involved in that. It could have been with the water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or maybe an earth sign. I just picked up a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, or both, so, you know, it's a triangle. <laughs> but uh, the Three of Cups, whatever that is, in the future, um, oh, that could be something that you are involved or you're going to be involved in or that you could find yourself getting caught up in. Some of you could be even getting caught up with, like, couples that are interested in you, like swingers. So, I don't know, but... I do feel, though, for most of you, like, this is kind of just you kind of stepping away from the social life, the crazy party scene. Some of you are just, like, taking it down a notch this and this month. Um, for love, it just feels weird because you got the lovers in reverse. And this is actually the unexpected thing for you that you don't know. Okay. Your unexpected card is the lovers in reverse. So for some of you, this could be a breakup, separation, a divorce. For some of you, this could be just ending a partnership with someone. It doesn't have, well, it, it is a love relationship for sure. So something, honestly, see, a lot of you could be going through breakups or some of you, if you're in a, you know, if you're single, it looks like you're not really looking for love. You could be looking for lust or like a quickie or something, but I'm not seeing that you're open to love right now. I'm not sure. And maybe some of you are confused and torn between two things, having to decide between one person or the other that could have to do with maybe this love triangle up here if that does apply to your situation but um anyway let's just um let's move on to how others are viewing you so people are seeing you actually what's funny is that people are seeing you as the knight of cups they're seeing you as a person that is like Maybe rushing forward too much with their feelings. Maybe moving too fast with their emotions. Um, some of you, I know Aries tend to love hard and sometimes quick, um, but they, 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 they love passionately. And they feel like this, your, the people around you, your friends, your family, maybe maybe even some of you co-workers, but I just feel like more your close surroundings are seeing you as like a person that just really maybe wears his heart on his sleeve or her heart on her sleeve just a little bit too much, maybe too easily and kind of charges in and rushes in with their emotions um, just too fast, you know, somebody that needs to slow down when it comes to this to those feelings for some of you it could be um and if you're a higher vibration a higher level um being of aries then you could be that you are seen this month as of the person that is in control of his feelings but i just feel like with the night here it's kind of like there's a juvenile there's a little bit of an immaturity about this card about this person um, and it's not immaturity, no offense, but it's just like, um, just still having to grow and learn a little bit more and take their time, um, when it comes to feelings, emotions and balancing it. Anyway, um, what you need to know, their card here is the five of cups upside down. So that's good. Um, so this upside down feels like you are basically coming out of a time of mourning this is a person when it's right side up it's a person that's like heartbroken and crying over spilt milk literally it's just not seeing the blessings in the situation 
Um, they have got two beautiful golden chalices behind them, but they're crying over the three that are messed up in front. And um, it's kind of like you're crying in vain because look, you got all that beautiful stuff behind you. But at the same time, so when I see this upside down, this is great. I like that I, oh, well, yeah, okay. So this is advice. Advice here, see the blessing in the situation. I'm seeing this, okay, they want me to interpret this as like you dodged a bullet. You dodged a bullet here, Aries. There's something that happened to you that you may be crying over, that you may be upset over. Um, this is actually for the best, though. You really did, because something worse, I think, could have been in the works for you had this not happened. Something, something here is happening for the best, and you're not seeing it that way. Okay, try and change your perspective here, okay? Your hopes and your fears, well, okay, so you have the death card here for the hopes and fears. So for some of you, that could mean like you're looking forward to a new beginning. I feel like a lot of you really do are and are uh, wanting a, like a reset, like a refresher here. Like you really do are, are wanting um, a new start, an exit out of this. You just want it to be over. Uh, and then some of you are afraid of that happening. Some of you are afraid um, that you are going to end up maybe breaking up with someone or splitting up from somebody. I don't know, uh, going through divorce or something. But a lot of you are scared of that. Some of you want it, okay? Um, death, this is like the renewal, the transformation, a whole new chapter here. Uh, okay, all right. And then... In your environment now, you've got the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords in your environment, it feels like you're taking what you came in with and you're getting the F out of there. <laughs> you're leaving behind that which no longer serves you. You are taking your shit and you are getting out. You're getting the F out. You out. You're going. Okay? So I feel Aries like there overall there's been maybe a situation that's been plaguing you. This could be work, career, love. I feel like this for many of you this has to do maybe with the relationship because um, and something that you were holding on to but you don't want it anymore. For some of you it's something you let go of that is trying to come back to you but you don't want it anymore. You're just not ready for it, or you don't, or you know what's up, and you know that it's not what you want, or you're not sure what you want, because here, in your outcome, last but not least, you have the Two of Swords, and the Two of Swords is always talking about having to make a choice, um, having to say something, too. Some of you are not saying anything and are choosing to remain blind to a situation, um, that is your outcome too, that some of you are literally like burying your head in the sand, okay, um, this person here is blindfolded at the top, she doesn't want to see shit, <laughs> so <laughs> I just really see that you need to communicate here, uh, we got the blue on top, that's representative of the throat chakra, so Things need to be said. You need to say something. Some of you may be ignoring people. Um, not the best idea, best course of action. But yeah, I guess if you think you need time to recoup and figure out what's going on with you, you need the right words to say, then, you know, communicate that with them. Let them know, like, I mean, I'm not ready to talk right now. I, I just need to think a little bit further or whatever. And then for the lower vibratory, uh, Aries, I feel some of you are just like blanking out and completely ice cold shutting out people without so much as a word. Or that could be d done to you. Okay. Let's see. What's your advice, Aries? Honestly, forget the advice. Hold on a second. Here we go. This is the advice. <laughs> the 
get some advice for Aries, please. Oh, okay. First card came up for Aries, detach. Well, it looks like you're already doing that. <laughs> so that's good. Number 11, detach. Well, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. Let's see what else. <laughs> of course, <laughs> throat shocker came out. Aries, like I said, looks like there's some communications that need to be done. You need to talk. You need to speak up. You cannot hide from situations forever. Okay, that's called like emotional debt. Okay, you may be able to put it off for now, but it is going to remain in this limbo state until you figure it out. These problems are not going to just disappear by themselves. You have to communicate and say something. Okay, uh, let's get one last card for advice for you guys. I mean, I do like how, at least at the end of it all, you are picking up and getting what, you know, taking what belongs to you, doing what you have to do, and moving on and moving forward, releasing the situation. Seek. Seek other things I'm seeing. Seek new adventures, seek new opportunities, seek. Seek and you shall find, okay? Moving on, moving on. I'm seeing you guys moving to a, a place of peace, okay? You will be seeking peace and you will be finding it. Comfort, adventure. I really see this being a great clarifier here for this last row. Okay, Aries. So that was your reading basically for February. Um, keep a lookout for the weekly readings that are coming up soon on my page. And um, just take your time to heal this month, okay, Aries? February is kind of like a really relaxed, kind of a vacation month, I feel, for like many of us. Like, just do what makes you happy. Um, be free. Do what... Oh, look. Oh, my God. As I said that, this card just flew out. Spread your wings. Be free, like I just said. Be free so just spread your wings this month and just do things that make you happy everything will work out try not to step on people's toes of course and try not to you know deliberately upset anyone of course but you know whatever you do and all things that you do make sure that it makes your yourself happy and those around you also happy okay Aries so spread your wings and get ready to fly because I really feel March is going to be such a wonderful month. It's going to be the beginning of a whole new adventure for many of us. And I see a lot of love coming in March uh, and at the end of February for sure. Okay, so just take the time you need now to open up yourself to love and prepare for it because when it comes, you will be ready, okay? Especially if it's a true, if it's a true love, okay? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, Aries, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for your likes, your subs, your shares, and namaste. <laughs> Bye.